in the second phase of the wiring, after we finish the power wiring, we're going to connect the Y motor, the Y end stop, and the Z motor right here. We're going to first put in all the components, then we're going to put in the wires, and then we're going to make it beautiful. The Y wire starts right here, runs on the bottom. It joins together with the Y end stop wire. Here they join together with the Z motor wire. They go together for a little bit. Then the Y end stop wire splits and joins the board from the top, while the Z and the Y motor wires go from the bottom. You're going to need the Y bracket that we put on together before, the Z motor with the lead screw, and the Y end stop. Let's start with the Z motor. It's going to go right here with the connector facing towards the back because that's where the wire is going to go. The easiest way to attach the motor ah, is to rotate the box. There's two M3 by 45 bolts with serrated washers pre-installed at the bottom of the printer. You're going to take them out. and use them to attach the motor to the bottom acrylic piece. <laughs> There's slots for the motor. The position doesn't specifically matter. We're going to adjust it precisely later. For now, you just want the motor to be secure so it doesn't flap around. Done. Make sure that the connector is facing towards the back. Now as for the Y motor, with the pulley facing down, it snaps into place right underneath the power supply connector. Just like so. For the Y end stop, you're going to need two M2 by 16 bolts, two M2 regular nuts, and two M2 regular washers. The same stuff that we used for the x-axis earlier. The switch goes right here. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the head of the bolt is on the switch going down. You don't want the nut to be sticking up there. <laughs> yes, these are very fiddly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. There we go. I'm actually just using my fingers to keep it tight. Um, but you are more than free, obviously, to use vice grip to hold it in place. But we don't need this crazy tight. Just secure. Nice. Now that we have the Y motor, Z motor, and the Y end stop in place, we can wire them up to the Arduino. You're going to need the Z motor wire, the Y motor wire, and the Y end stop. Let's start with the end stop. It goes right up here. All the end stops are in this upper row. And if you look really closely, there's a little Y right underneath this top row of connectors. Um, for better clarity, refer to our diagrams that you can download. The Z motor will connect to this connector. It does say Z right on the ramps board as well. And then it's going to go through this hole and the lower left, sorry, lower right corner and connect to the Z motor. 
Ah. Finally, the Y motor goes right next to the Z motor wire. It's labeled Y and connects to the Y motor. Now let's make it beautiful and functional. We'll start with the bottom row. There's four zip ties keeping these wires in check. And they are very much important because the bed assembly is passing right above and you don't want to get the wires tangled in the moving y-axis. On the utmost left, the first zip tie is holding the Y wire away from all the action. <laughs> then one in the middle just to keep it down. Definitely keep the heads of the zip tie on the bottom piece, from the bottom, not inside of the box. That would interfere with the bad assembly too. Great. Now underneath this zip tie will combine the Y end stop and the Y motor wire. Gonna join together. Beautiful. And now coming up, all three wires, the Y motor, Z motor and the Y end stop. I'm going to come together. <laughs> and now the Y end stop will continue upwards, going from the top, but these two motors will split and just go the shortest possible route. Right where they belong. <laughs> Now on the top, there's the wire comp. Find the one that says Y end stop and simply wiggle the wire in. And that's it for this step. Beautiful and functional. I'm gonna clip the zip ties that I already used to get a visually cleaner mid-step. Be obviously careful not to clip the wires themselves. Mm. Very nice.